Any businessman knows that the best way to please a customer is to underpromise and overdeliver. And that's exactly what Eagle Creek does with its cargo hauler 40 liter duffel bag. After using it for a few weeks, I was impressed by its quality, features, but more importantly, how lightweight it was. But does cutting the weight also cut some key features? We'll find out. The cargo hauler 40 liter is one of the lightest pound for pound bags in its class. It's the lightest on the list, but also carries 8 ounces more than both the Cotopaxi duffel and the Peak Design duffel. It's lighter than the Patagonia and Osprey while also carrying more, and almost a pound lighter than the North Face Base Camp, although the Base Camp does hold 50 liters. And this is important for flights, because American Airlines aren't too strict on the weight of carry-ons, but I recently flew Swiss Air, which only allowed 16 pounds, so every pound counts. Moving to the straps, we have hideable backpack straps, making this a convertible pack. The straps don't have much padding, and it lacks a chest strap, but being a convertible, it also doesn't have any back padding or air channels, so my back got a little hot when I was using it. Convertible packs aren't intended to be the most comfortable backpacks, but this one was good enough. Though I had to keep the zippers on the side, because when they were on the bottom, I could feel the zippers against my back and it was a little uncomfortable. The straps also buckle together for hand carry mode, but one surprising thing about this pack is the lack of a shoulder strap, which is a big loss for it being a convertible duffel. I like to carry a backpack and a duffel on my shoulder as my two carry-ons, allowing both my hands to be free. There are handles on all four sides, which is convenient for maneuvering in airplane overheads and car trunks, and each side has two compression straps that also work like a poor man zipper lock. The bottom side of the pack has a large pocket that can fit shoes and the zipper track with a water hood for protection. There is no organization in this pocket, which is fine because it's best for large items anyways, because when I was carrying the pack, things can fall out the bottom if I'm not careful. Save all the small items for the top pocket, which has a similar size pocket, but it has a mesh zip pocket inside. Something interesting about this one is you'll notice it has the bag's info on the inside, and it turns out that the cargo hauler is also a packable duffel, and it completely packs down into this pocket. It came this way in the mail, so I honestly thought Eagle Creek made a mistake because the packaging was so small. And this is what I mean by underpromise and overdeliver. Eagle Creek's website doesn't heavily advertise that it's packable. It's not in the product title or in the product photos. And I was surprised because this doesn't feel like a packable duffel, and that's a compliment. Packables are usually very thin with almost no structure or organization, but that's not the case with the cargo hauler, which feels more like a normal duffel. Another welcome surprise was that the pack actually carries 43 liters, despite only being listed at 40. Moving to the material, it's 1000D Helix Poly and 600D Poly TPU, which looks and feels identical to Patagonia's black hole material, if you've watched any of my other bag reviews. The result is a high degree of water resistance, lightweight and shiny appearance, and, based on the comments of my other videos, a very polarizing look. Some love the shiny look, saying it's unique, and some say it looks like a trash bag. Personally, I love the material on the Patagonia bags, and I love it here. Moving to the inside of the pack, the zippers also have a rain shield to keep water out. Here we have a nice olive green material and access to the main compartment. There's no organization other than a mesh divider, which is fine. More expensive bags use proprietary dividers and foldable Velcro pieces and all this fancy stuff, but I appreciate when companies like Eagle Creek don't over-engineer the solution in order to keep costs down. This divider works great. It doesn't add any unnecessary weight, and it collapses out of the way if you don't need it. To me, this is smart and practical design. So to answer the question, does cutting the extra weight also sacrifice functionality? Surprisingly, not at all. The cargo hauler somehow manages to be both lighter and larger than most bags in its class, while still offering more comfort and organization than I was expecting. I just think the lack of duffel strap is a shame, and it's a big oversight that prevents this pack from reaching its full potential. Anyways, comment below if you want a response, and subscribe for more everyday gear videos. Thanks!